The International Space Station is really an amazing engineering achievement. In the last 21 years, there's been permanent human presence in space. We've slowly progressed from capsules and vehicles that visited for a short time to places like Skylab, where we ultimately did a 90-day mission back in the 70s. Now we're on ISS for a year or more. And now it's time for the next space station. Axiom Space is about making living and working in space commonplace. The government has forecasted a demand for flying NASA crew members to low Earth orbit to conduct basic research and further to their goals of deep space exploration. But then we also want to expand what can be done in space. 15 years from now, 20 years from now, we're going to be surrounded by objects that we can't live without that were manufactured in space. Today, we are in the process of building our first two elements. We have subsystems in development. We have a full lab of life support hardware that we're putting through its bases. We are building a propulsion system. It's a lot of those details in developing a space station. You know, the first two modules are being built by our partner, Telesilania, and we're heading to what is called CDR, which is a critical design review. That really means that 90% of the design is done and then you're ready to go to manufacturing. So HAB-1 is that first module. It has four crew quarters, it has payload accommodations, and it has all of the systems required to keep crew healthy and alive. So the plan is we'll fly four separate modules to the ISS. When we arrive with the fourth module, it'll have what we need to be independent of the ISS. So a lot of thought went into how do we allow it to grow. When we look at the future, we have thoughts on how we could double the number of crew every five years. There's a lot of excitement here about the AX-1 mission. Everyone understands that it's a very historic mission. We are just so excited to be part of that and having our people enable this historic moment. The AX-1 mission provides us the opportunity to refine our flight techniques and operations concepts in order to meet the higher complexity of operating a space station in orbit. That moment where we're captured and birthed to the International Space Station will be a moment that defines how we move forward uh, as a species in low Earth orbit. This will be really the first time a fully commercial element has uh, been part of the complex. Axiom Station is going to allow humanity to be a multi-planet species. We pull that off, we change the world.